Hey y'all, it's Paris and I'm back with another video. So today I just wanted to do a video about how to have faith in God's timing. I'm going to be coming from John chapter 11 verses 37 through 44. And it says, but some said this man healed a blind man. Why couldn't he keep Lazarus from dying? And again, Jesus was deeply troubled. Then they came to the grave. It was a cave with a stone rolled across its entrance. Roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister, said, Lord, by now the smell will be terrible because he has been dead for four days. Jesus, re Jesus responded, Didn't I tell you that you will see God's glory if you believe? So they rolled the stone aside. Then Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, thank you for hearing me. You always hear me, but I said it out loud for the sake of all these people standing here. So, so they will believe you sent me. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out, bound in grave clothes, his face wrapped in a, in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. So I wanted to read this scripture because maybe you're in a situation where your blessing has been delayed or maybe, um, you know, you just look at it as a, you just look at it as if God has not, you know, answered your prayer. And so you're just like, you know, God, I've been praying and, 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 and I've been praying, but you still haven't came through. And so I just want to let you know that God is intentionally delaying your promise. He is intentionally delaying your blessing because whenever he does come through, whenever he does allow you to have a breakthrough, the people who witness you at your lowest, the people who witness, witness, um, you know, your situation, they're going to be blessed by your testimony, okay? They're going to be blessed. And not only that, they're going to believe in Jesus because they knew your situation. They knew you were at your lowest. They knew you didn't have a job. They knew you, you were um, in unemployment. They knew you were on food stamps. They knew your situation. But whenever God does come through, when I tell you, you best to believe people are going to believe in him because you're going to have a great testimony and God is going to come right on time. Just like he did for Lazarus. God is going to come right on time for your situation. Your situation looks dead, but honey, it's not dead. It's not dead at all. It's asleep. It is sleep. Okay. It is not dead at all. And so I wanted to break down the scripture. So, um, in verse 39, it says, roll the stone aside, Jesus told them. But Martha, the dead man's sister said, Lord, by now the smell would be terrible because he said, because he has been dead for four days. Verse 40, Jesus responded, didn't I tell you that you will see God's glory if you believe? So when Martha made that, um, when Martha made that comment, when she said, you know, uh, the smell would be terrible because he's been dead for, for four days, Martha thought, that saying that to Jesus was going to maybe allow him not to do a miracle. Maybe it was going to, you know, deter him from doing whatever he was about to do. But Jesus didn't care. Jesus was like, didn't I tell you that if, that if you believe, you will see God's glory. So sometimes, you know, when you see a situation, you try to tell God, you, you, you try to tell yourself, that the situation is so bad how can jesus you know do something how can jesus do a miracle when the situation smells so bad and jesus is like i don't even care i'm jesus it doesn't even matter it doesn't even matter how long it's been it doesn't even matter how long you've been in that situation it doesn't matter how long it could be four days it can be four months it can be four years but whenever God decides that it's time for him to come through, oh, he's going to come through. He's going to come through. And the people who are watching, they're going to witness it. They're going to witness it. And so going back to verse, um, let's see, verse 37, it says, but some said this man healed a blind man. Why couldn't he keep Lazarus from dying? So, these people who are watching, these people who know that Lazarus is dead, they know what Jesus has done. They know Jesus has, has, has already, you know, done other miracles. But now they're wondering, why couldn't he, 
you know, raise this man from the dead? Why couldn't he save him before he died? But they didn't realize that Jesus had a purpose. Jesus had a purpose. He was thinking about all the other people. He was thinking about the people who, who were later going to be saved. He was thinking about the people who were in disbelief. So when God puts you in a situation, it's not just for you. It's for others too, because people are going to believe because of your testimony. That's why you have to tell your testimony because people are going to believe through your testimony, through your situation. So that's why God is delaying your situation. That's why it feels like God has not answered your prayers because God is delaying it on purpose. He has a purpose behind, um, behind your situation. So he's not just sitting back and just, and just saying, well, I'm just going to allow, you know, Paris to just, um, be in this situation because I, I don't care about her. No, he cares. He cared about Lazarus. The, the scripture says that he loved Lazarus. But guess what? It, it contradicted because even though he loved him, he still allowed him to die. And you're probably wondering, well, how can a God or Jesus, how can someone who loves us so much allow this to happen? God only does things for a purpose, okay? It may not make sense. It may contradict itself, but it does not matter. Jesus can do anything. He can do anything and it always has a purpose. It always has a reason. There's always a, a reason to why God, God allows things to happen. But for, for Lazarus situation, he allowed him to die because he knew that people were watching. He knew that people were watching and he wanted to show God's glory through Lazarus situation. He wasn't worried about Lazarus. He, he already knew because God knows, you know, he he knows our future you know way way uh beforehand so he already knew that he was going to die but then he already knew that he was going to wake back up as well so he did this so that the people could witness the miracle <coughs> so what i'm saying to you is no matter what your situation is no matter what your situation looks like God has allowed all these people around you your family your friends your co-workers he has allowed all these people to see you at your lowest. He has allowed everybody to see your situation because he knows that when, whenever he says it's time and whenever he comes through, oh my God, your testimony is going to be so great because people are going to be like, dang, ain't, ain't that the girl? Ain't that the girl who, 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 uh, who didn't have a job? Ain't that the same girl, you know, who was adopted? Ain't that the same man who didn't have a family? God can bless you with whatever you're lacking, okay? He can bless you with whatever you're lacking. He can restore you, okay? He can restore you. This story is about restoration. So God is going to restore whatever you are lacking. He's going to restore you, okay? So I wanted to also break down um, verse 43. Then Jesus shouted, Lazarus, come out. And Lazarus came out, bound in grave's clothes, his face wrapped in a head cloth. Jesus told them, unwrap him and let him go. So not only did Jesus allow Lazarus to come out while he still, while he still had on his grave's clothes, but he wanted people to see that this man, this man that you once saw that was dead, this man who, who had a stench coming from the cave, He's now alive. And people had to witness this because he still had the, bandage, the, the bandages um, on him. So you know he was dead. You know he was dead. Like people could not deny the, mir the, the miracle. They, they couldn't say, oh, he was playing or oh, he, was, he was pretending like he was asleep. No, he was actually dead. Like they had wrapped him up, put him in a cave, placed a stone over the cave so that he wouldn't come out or something. I don't know. But... He was actually dead. Like people could not de deny the miracle. He was dead. He had on the, the um, he kind of looked like a, a mummy, I, I would say, because he, he was wrapped up in bandages. And that's what they do when, when people are dead. So he did that. He, he allowed for Lazarus to go all the way to his death. So that when he did say, Lazarus, come out, Lazarus still, still had on his bandage, bandages. 
And so people could not deny the, the miracle. They could not. They could not say that Lazarus was pretending or nothing. They could not deny the blessing. So all I'm saying to you guys, I know that this is starting to get long, but all I'm saying to you guys is people are not going to be able to deny your blessing. They're not going to be able to deny your miracle that's coming, okay? Because they know your situation. They, they know that you are at your lowest. They saw your downfall. They saw your weakness. But now they're going to see you come alive. Now they're going to see your situation come alive. Because when God decides, when he says when he, when he he says that it's time, it is time. And he's going to come through. And he's going to come through like you've never seen him before. So I hope that this video has encouraged you guys. Um, I also want to say, and I haven't been saying this lately in my videos, but I'm also a life coach. So if you guys would like for me to... Um, you know, do a life coaching session session with you guys. Um, please email me. I will put my email in the description box. But um, yeah, um, I will see you guys in my next video and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.